Hi everyone! Uh, today uh, I'm going to start a new tutorial. Uh, this is a special tutorial because I it's uh, the first time that I try to uh, this project. This is a request from uh, the giveaway that I made uh, some uh, weeks ago. So the project is uh, crayon art. Uh, for this uh, we are going to need um, canvas that you can see here, uh, some uh, watercolor pad, I, I really going to use the, the paper, you know, um, crayons of course, uh, the amount of uh, crayon package will depend on your project actually and my canvas is little as you can see, uh, uh, wet uh, towels like this one, ba baby w wipes I think I call it, uh, uh, glue sticks and a glue gun or silicone uh, gun, I don't know how people know it. Also a, a hair dryer, the, this will be for uh, smelt the um, the crayons and the uh, silicone for uh, put the crayons on the canvas. Um, since as you can see I made already a draw, I, or I'm not sure if you can See it actually let's see if I can go a little I sorry yeah you can see of course uh, that I made um, a, a draw already so it's this is more or less the project that I want to make uh, you uh, the most common uh, crayon art that I had seen is that the people uh, set the crayons here over and then they smelt it and fall all the colors down and it looks like they just make something, a couple under the rain or things like that. I wanted to try something different, so uh, what I am actually going uh, to do is I am not going to use the complete crayon, as you can see like this. Uh, I am actually going to use half or less than the crayon, because I am not going to set them here. I will set them in the side. So this will be like this. And I also, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, with the glue, uh, I am going to put uh, pieces of the, this paper, this paper here, in all the borders of my draw. So the colors, for example, if this is the sky, will be blue. And the hills will be brown. And here will be grass. So. Uh, between, uh, for example, the border of the heel, I will put paper so the blue don't go to this side. Uh, this is the project that I have. Let I hope it's work. As I say, it's the first time I try. So now, uh, uh, for now, this is all the materials that I think I am going to use. Ah, uh, and also paper towels like this, these kitchen towels. Uh, because and it's optional that uh, if you want, you can use gloves because it's a, a little dirty. Uh, I, I already did a test for to see as you can see here how it looks and um, I, I put some silicone here for to see if the the color doesn't go out but unfortunately uh, it have to be something more high because uh, when I use the hair dryer it, it is spilled a lot to everywhere so no, I, I decide that I, I just will put like a paper wall around and after I can take it out and don't we leave a line so so big like this one white that you see here because I just wanted to see if it will work like that but no. So let's get started. Since I explained before uh, that I was going to cut the crayons in about half or maybe a little less. I will explain how I did it. I, I just use uh, the my cutter and in around the R I just did like this and like this. That I will use this part. This is the part that I am interested in. Now what I am cutting it because these crayons, let's see, are like that high. And as you can see, I am going to use the canvas 
like this. I am going to glue with the silicone the crayons in this way. So if it's to it will be the same down anyway, but since I make different draw like uh, drawing, so I, I need to do it this way. I, I can't do it put setting uh, glue it in on top. So and the complete crayon as you can see is too big. So all this part of the canvas will disappear and I at the end I will have a picture very little so of course I could have get bigger canvas but then it's more complicated for make a tutorial so I will do it in little so this is how I cut the crayons now what I'm going to do I bring a dish like this and I will set the silicone gun or the glue gun uh, I will turn it on and I will place the um, crayons in the side in the way I want them to go but meantime I will warm this because it takes some time in get warm so I will put it in the electricity and I will leave this waiting in the dish because this sometimes drop a little or cut could get too hot and for avoid the machine the table or burning any other thing or whatever it's better this way so let's see I thought to make a rainbow, but n no, didn't work. I am a disaster when it comes to make drawings, so no. As you can see, I placed in the part where it's supposed that will go the grass a different green type, uh, green colors. Uh, so, um, in the case that you don't have enough, that this is my case, I just like try to make it look similar. And uh, the other thing is that I will do this like this, so all are in the same line. And here I can just cut it after when I finish. So uh, what I'm going to do now is start gluing it. Like, like this. I'm going to need more. I'm going to do the same process for all the rest. Now are all the pieces in order. Uh, the, the picture is going to be like this, but I'm going to apply in this direction, like this. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I will put this like that and with the hair dryer I will uh, apply heat so this will start to smelt and fall but before doing that I am going to glue pieces of paper in all the limits 
of the mountains with the sky and the mountains with the grass. As you can see, I, I cover all the part uh, down of the picture with masking tape uh, for avoid that the first color go down. So I am missing a small piece here. Let's see. So now we are going to start with the project, but I will go to pick up a plastic bag first. So now it's in the right position and I put a plastic bag under for if it's leaked too much. So I will check that it's good. Yeah, it's good. So now we will start applying heat.
as you can see it's hard down so I am trying to put it back because the pieces are very little and also uh, I think I will need a paintbrush for cover these parts I can't touch it because it's very hot so I will use a paintbrush for cover all day because the paint is not going through these parts so I just will do like this for that the paint goes in this part and here the brown got a little smelted here I have my sky this part I can take it out after or just do like this and smelt it actually I have my sky. It looks cool, actually. <laughs> Here we have the face, the first part of our frame. Uh, I took away already the the pieces of mask masking. Here, 
because when this paint be dry, uh, the sky be dry, I'm going to put some masking here in the border for the heels and then make the heels. So, but it's, it's look very nice actually. I I had to like use a toothpick for um, uh, remove a little the excess because it's get like like something like this for example so it's it's better and you have to be careful because it's get very hot very very hot and uh, I suggest to have like a dish or something where you can put the hair dryer after because uh, in, in my case it took some time in start to get smelted the crayons so that can be uh, can make very warm the the hair dryer and then you could make fire or have an accident get burned so it it's better to to be careful um ah uh, other thing that I forgot to say is that um instead of a uh, glue one by one the um, crayons it's easier just to put some glue and then start to put them like this careful because the silicone get hot very hot too I got burned already so I instead of one by one put the glue like this no I think it's better just to put some and then you some glue in the canvas and then you start you put some uh, crayons then more glue more crayons and like that is is easier and faster actually so but since it's the first time I do this, I I am kind of experimenting too and improving as long as the problems and the things come out. So now we have to wait a little that, uh, until this get dry. It get dry fast actually, but it's still a little warm. So it's better to wait a little. Now it, you can take these parts outside when it's still warm. So for avoid the uh, that get too hard and go out all the piece. So okay, let's wait a little. Okay, now that I am uh, I secured the second part, that the part of the sky, I'm going to smell the. Uh, uh, no, no yet. I mistake when I am missing some crayons here. Let's see. Sorry for the moving of the camera. I am trying to put the there. Okay, now it's okay. So now we will do the heels. Mm, let's see. here 
well now we have only the last part left that is the grass but i have to see uh, which other type of cover i can use for the brown part because unfortunately the uh, masking tape took away some of the paint already and uh, it's got mixed because uh, once it's painted didn't got stuck it good in the the crayon because it's like kind of plastic or something so i i have to try to find another uh, protection for this side uh, other thing is that uh, i'm sorry that uh, you will notice that the first part of the video is gone uh, when i start with the blue part because and i am not sure about the brown i have to check the videos still but uh, unfortunately uh, i am it's the first time that i use this camera for film so i am getting used to and the battery was just gone and i didn't notice it so uh, I'm, I'm really sorry but just feel free to ask any questions or if you have any doubts i i will happy answer any any uh, doubt that you have or that anything you you wish to know so let's continue now i cover all the other parts and i am uh, going to do the last of the smelting so let's get started As I, as I did before, I will have to use a paintbrush for move a little the, let's see, the problem is that the paintbrush get bad after, but doesn't matter. And these are good and new, but yeah. If I don't do this, the paint don't will go in the way, in the place I want, like covering all, will do will make these lines
Okay, so there is the my grass. I don't have to move here. Maybe. So now the work I could say is finished. I will wait for this to dry a little <laughs> and then uh, I will come back for the opening complete the complete opening of the the mask mask tin. Now is uh, the work finished. Uh, of course it's um, some details uh, like take away these excess here in the sides and these things but I, I am just going to leave it like that because it's, this was a kind of experiment for me it, it has some mistakes of course and maybe it's not how it's supposed to be the um, crayon technique but as I say it's the first time I do this and uh, I try to teach and how to teach myself <laughs> to teach others and how to teach myself how to do it so I hope you like this tutorial, uh, give me a like and get subscribed if, uh, if you enjoyed and uh, uh, please let me know if you have any questions, uh, this is uh, not very easy to make actually so I, I will uh, post in the description box uh, another tutorial uh, video from my um, uh, El Arte de Pau. She is a very talented Mexican girl and uh, she made a crayon art too but uh, with different style so you can compare the, the different uh, ways to, to make this, uh, this type of craft. <coughs> Sorry, also uh, I would like to thank you for uh, because I recently reached uh, 100 subscribers so I, I am I am very happy really because I, I never thought that uh, uh, so many people was uh, going to be interested in look at my work and watch my work and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's mean a lot to me really so uh, I hope uh, not, don't disappoint you and if it's something you don't like or you think is wrong just let me know it's, it's um, I am open to all opinions so talk to you soon and uh, let's hope uh, I can uh, make a new tutorial uh, next week. Bye!